everybody and welcome to yet another is it a dupe or just a waste of money where we are putting a Timu palette up against the high-end palette once again so this is a Timu nude magical palette I got it for under three dollars over at Timu and we are putting it up against the nude medium Huda Beauty obsession palette they're little nine pan palettes and I have them on today obviously ding dong that's why you're filming this video anyways so I like to have y'all guess before we get into the video which side do you think is the $29 palette which side do you think is a $3 palette then come back and tell me but before we jump into guessing and all of that if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Rhonda and I started this video series back in 2017 so there is well over a hundred videos on my playlist so anyways welcome to the judgment free drama free stress free zone where we sit back relax play in makeup compare makeup and maybe potentially save each other money on makeup so hopefully you decide to stick around let's go ahead zoom in on my eyes you guys take a wild guess what side is the rose side I got my can you see it I don't know if you guys can see it okay well candle side what side has my roses anyways just guess what side's the candle side how about that we're not professional here what side's the high end what side's the affordable then make sure to come back once you guys see what side is what let me know if you guys are right could I just be professional and refilm all of this intro yeah am I nope no I'm not you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and find out whether or not this is a dupe or just a waste of money. I've got so much to talk to you guys about, so I'm going to try and stay on point. Will I? Probably not. Uh, just FYI, I did go ahead and prime my lids with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. I like to use the shade Medium. I also have used the shade Fair and it works well too. We're going to go ahead and we're going to have the Huda side be my Roses side. And then the Timu palette is going to be on the side of my Good Candle, which is my Strawberry Cheesecake. And then if you are new here, I do have a wash rag and brush cleaner. So I will be cleaning the brushes in between. So before we get started, I always give, well, it's the new disclaimer. This series, just FYI, if you are new here, first, welcome and thank you. Uh, second, this series started because 2007 Rhonda uh, was a single mom, three kids, not making a lot of money, and I couldn't afford high-end expensive makeup. Now, I know that this Huda palette is $29, and for some, that's very crazy affordable awesome sauce however uh for 2007 rounded this was out of my budget therefore a three dollar palette was very much in my budget so if i loved a color story with a high-end palette um i would have absolutely loved to be able to spend three dollars a little splurge on myself and be able to create a look that looks like this one all right so that is the whole premises or whatever for the reason that I do is it a dupe or just a waste of money I know it's 2023 my circumstances are different I'm very grateful and blessed by that but I don't forget 2007 Rhonda Woo! which gets me every single mother truck in time well, let's go ahead and start with the Huda palette now we're gonna just compare real quick the Huda palette yes $29 you can pick it up at Sephora like I did it does come in a plastic case I will have the swatches popping up now when it comes to the Timu palette honestly I'm saying three dollars I think it was literally like two dollars and change there is a coupon code that I do have down below for you all that's gonna save you like 30% off your first purchase with Timu I personally downloaded the app you don't have to you can just shop the website if I can make it an affiliate link or code I'm definitely gonna do that just FYI um, now the Huda palette which like I said is a couple bucks it is in a standard type of cardboard packaging does not bother me whatsoever there's no mirror in it like there is in the Huda so you still have the nine pans you guys by now hopefully I've popped in the swatches so like I was saying let's go ahead and start with the Huda palette there are no names on either palette we are gonna go in with this shade right here and start I do have a tacky base the brush I'm gonna be starting with is the bling brushes from the ice queen collection and it is e51 and I do what I call the tap tap dab dab method and I literally because I have mature slightly hooded lids tap the product the shade on and build up that way 
I, I try and go light-handed, but sometimes it, apparently it's just not my journey in life. So let me go ahead and zoom you all in a little closer. Once I've built it up, I do kind of sometimes swish it around just a little bit. Now, I personally, I like Huda's formula. I think it is a really good formula, but like I said, it's not really a comparison of Huda's formula. Uh, we're not even trying to dupe the formula. We are just trying to come out with a very similar or cohesive look and save yourself some money. And I'm going to take that color and put a little underneath the eye. Cleaning off the brush, we are going to jump over to the Temu side um, and we're going to go into the similar shade. Now when I did swatches, I did notice that the Temu side was a little bit pinkier of an undertone and I honestly really liked it. So that was kind of why I wanted to jump into it. Okay, so this is just the perfect point that t that swatches don't mean a thing because in swatches I swore the shade was a little pinker and I didn't think it matched as much as it's matching on my eyeball. So this is now like I think the fourth is it a dupe or just a waste of money I have done with the Temu brand eyeshadow palettes that I have found off of their site. I can tell you I've had zero reaction whatsoever. Uh, no irritation. The longevity is definitely there. I do use every eyeshadow palette that I have used, which I did the Timu Glam Palette, Retro Palette, the Mint Palette, and now this Magical Palette. And I've used the I've used the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base every single time. All right, so just off that one shade, performance-wise, I think it's really good thus far. It applied nicely. There's always going to be one side that's always higher than the other. Okay, so I'm going to switch my brush. This is still part of the Blinged Blush Brush collection. This is with Paige Crin. Uh, this is her extended collection. So code Hot Mess will save you 10% over at Blinked. I am going to jump over to the Huda side and I think I'm going to go in, I think, I mean it's not much darker. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of this shade and then I'll probably start deepening it with this. So I'm going to use two shades this time. And this brush, just for reference, is the E42. It's got a slight angle to it. I really like these. They make it really nice and easy to get into your outer V. Okay, it took a little bit to get that to get onto the brush. Let's go in next with the deeper shade. Now that I'm looking at it, this was actually lighter than the shade, so. <laughs> hmm. Okay, whatever. Live and learn. Let's go in with the deeper shade, the outer V. And I am going to switch back over to the Floofy E51 brush and try and kind of blend this out some. Alright, so I've kind of floofed it out and I'm going to jump over to the Timmy side, do the same thing. Okay, I really love that shade. All right, let's jump in to this one. All right, so this one is not as pigmented, which is fine. You know, I'll just build it up. But the color is actually pretty. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing, clean off the brush and then start floofing. Okay, so I was worried. I was like, with my floofing, is it going to take any of the product, like make it patchy? And actually it's not. It's actually really pretty. There is a difference in color. This one definitely has more of a reddish undertone where this one I feel is more cooler and purplier. Okay, next, let's go in with this center shade from Huda, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it with my finger. Ooh, that is so pretty. feel like, especially since, ooh, got some down there, I have mature lids, sometimes I like to do this 
way with my finger because it warms it up and I feel like it gives it a little bit smoother of appearance. Now I'm gonna jump into the Timu side. You guys can see my finger is clean. This one feels nice and creamy. I will say I feel like I hard panned these. However, you guys would have seen in the Timu Glam and Retro palette that these need like the top layer kind of scratched off. So I feel like the, those two shades are definitely gonna be the same. Oh my goodness, okay. A little down there because I did on the other side too so I gotta make my edge once again I got higher on one side all right let's just see if I get like I'm gonna use a little clean brush for the hood side and get it a little up there there we go so it matches all right I'm gonna switch over to an e3 brush I'm gonna jump into the hood palette I'm gonna use this color right through here to kind of warm it up a little bit because at this point I'm like matching the Timu side and I feel like it's getting a little too purpley on the Huda side and I like more of that red that's happening over here surprisingly on the Timu side. I typically am not into like warm pumpkin orangey shades but like I'm living for this warmth. I'm gonna just kind of dive it in there. Cleaning it off, let's do the exact same shade over here. For me personally, I do want to kind of lighten it just a smidge, so I am going to take this shade in my palette with Over Cosmetics. I'll have it linked down below if you are interested in it, and I'm going to just go back into my blinged E51 and I'm gonna just go in with this shade right here to put up by my brow and this is like my cheat sheet way to like do a little blending so I just lightly I'm going to put that all around see how it just kind of calms it down Oh, by the way, code a hot mess will save you 20% over at Ofra if you are interested in picking up my palette Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off. I am gonna put some liner on. For liner, I kinda wanna go funky. Let's see what we got. Normally, I always go with the basic nude to open my eyeballs up and then a black on the waterline, but I'm low-key kind of feeling like a bronzy shade might be really pretty on the waterline. So this is um, I Am Resilient. Oh, this is by Real Her. It's a metallic bronze liner. And then I will do black, which is from Tarte Sugar Rush. I don't even know if it's still available. It was came in a subscription box. I'm gonna do that on my tight line. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put some lashes on as well. And I'm gonna use the Gucci mascara because it was gifted, it's expensive, and this puppy ain't going to waste, okay? Why, Rhonda? I don't know. I'll hey be right friends. back. So I am back and I'm feeling spicy. Let me, look at those eyeballs. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's, let, let me adjust this camera. Something's not right. What are our thoughts? Oh, well, let me just tell you my thoughts. All right. So I personally, like when I see, let, let me like, I'll zoom you all in. I've got like false lashes on, but I think everything literally looks nice and cohesive like at least in my opinion from what I can tell I'll go over like my makeup and stuff here in a second but as far as this little three dollar palette goes oh freak yeah freak yeah with that being said this this one that we used no issues whatsoever the shimmer now these let me try and get close so you guys can see you can see I've kind of hard pan this one this one and this one so but I'm still able to pick up some of the shades. It's just they're a little like light, um, like topper-esque. But if we scratch off some of that, okay, for example, I just scratched the top. Do you guys see that? So we get definitely more of a payoff. So that is exactly what I had happen with, like I said, the Glam and the Retro Palette from Timu. It was under six bucks. Um, so if I have to do a little scratchy scratchy to get the payoff, do I care? No. I mean, y'all know I did that 
for the the elf highlighters that they had back in like 2018 2017 so yeah i don't really care to scratch a little a little bit now would i be upset if my 29 dollars palette did it or my 69 dollars palette did it yeah but it's not so as far as the huda goes like i told y'all i'm not comparing her formula i like her formula i own a lot of her pilots but for me personally if you love the color story of the 29 dollars palette um I would just go for the $3 palette. I mean, it's just, I like the, the way it performed. I mean, granted, I only used a few of the shades, but I mean, I think that overall, you guys got to get the gist of it. It's a decent palette for three bucks, and we definitely created a cohesive palette. We saw a couple differences as far as the undertone went, but we were able to pull it back together and make the look look like this so i'll zoom you guys in and you guys can let me know what your thoughts are i felt like it performed really well it didn't get patchy it built up nice it blended out beautifully i mean overall we really truly do have a pretty darn near spot on look to the huda beauty so in my opinion i say this is a great dupe uh it's a very comparable dupe not the formula only the colors okay so anywho uh so if you're interested in picking up the nude magical palette from timu i will have a coupon code down below for y'all and a link in everything and like i said if i can make it an affiliate i definitely will if you are interested in just saying no i want the huda, huda palette i'll have that link down same thing if i can make it an affiliate link i definitely will uh so anywho as far as my lips goes I did use my Jarred Cosmetics Sugar and Spice. You all know it's my OG fave liner. And I, I overdined just a little bit, colored it in just a little bit. Then, are y'all ready for this? I used a little bit of mixing nude first. Let me just show you what it looks like. Their Jarred Cosmetics Nude Shade. I got the nude lipstick and then I mixed it with Buttercup which is again one of my absolute favorites and then right in the center I did go in with shimmer of hope to just kind of lighten it up just a little bit and let them look a little bit thicker and I forgot to tell you all I did use the Gerard Cosmetics um, lip plumper too and if you guys caught my is it a duper just a waste of money I technically filmed that yesterday but you guys will see these probably over a week apart from each other I did want to talk about how I fixed my face so in that video I was complaining uh, and I've got to get ready with me I still have to edit but I was complaining of how flipping dry my skin was because we have been in Pennsylvania sitting outside uh, of a concert waiting to get in and filling up the wind was brutal it was freezing so anyways last night I was like what can I do to fix this so y'all remember my boxy charm uh, base box I think it was this is the better skin coat I bright now anti puff anti dark circle okay well the dark circles aren't totally gone cuz I'm a mom but I applied some of this yesterday and this morning and then this was sent over to me from Neo oh boy strata I could be saying this completely wrong, but it's a little skincare set. It's three. You got your vitamin C, you've got your triple neck firm cream, and the Hyaluronic Luminous Lift. Uh, it's a volumizing gel. I use those. And then, what did I lock it in with today? I think it was either my Ofra Cosmetics Peptide or my Verse. One of the two, I locked it in, and then I also had added some of my Biosense Squalene Copper Peptide rapid plumping serum and then the eye cream y'all no issues with my makeup whatsoever today so highly recommend and then my sunscreen i did use the cc red correct this is by emborium they had also sent this over to me this is flipping really cool it's got a green tint so if you have rosacea definitely consider this okay so i just did a little dye up and like i said it has some sunscreen in here i'm gonna make like a TikTok about it because this is amazing it's soothing it evens your complexion it has spf 25 do you see that it's literally like got the color corrector in there and it didn't like like stick to any parts of my face it was awesome and it like changes color to the shade like to match you I was like oh okay I like this emporium and I a lot of y'all talk about them and I've never really tried them so anywho I'll have that link down below but I did want to tell you how I fixed my face
in case you guys were curious. So anyways, um, as far as my face goes, I did have my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on. I did go in with a little bit, do I have it sitting here still? A little bit of my Tom Ford Flawless Glow Foundation. I like to mix those two together because this is super, super lightweight. And then I went in with my Saint Cream products. If you guys want a color match and all that, it'll be down below. As far as these palettes go, I thought this video was excellent. It got me outside my cozy zone. I typically don't really do these orangey kind of looks, but dang on mother trucker, if I don't like it, mm, I really enjoyed it. So anywho, if you guys made it to the end of today's video, thank you guys so, so much. I greatly appreciate you guys more than you all know. Check me out on my other channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs for plus size curvy girl fashion hauls over there. I'm also um, on another channel, Hot Mess in the Kitchen. I need to be more consistent over there. That mother trucker is never going to get monetized if I don't be more consistent. But I do quick, budget friendly, low carb family meals. Um, I've been doing more shorts because mama's tired by the end of the day. But I will do my best to start getting more content up over there. Of course, I'm on TikTok and Instagram at Hot Mess Mama for and and thank you so, so much to my YouTube members. You don't have to help support the channel, but you choose to, and I appreciate you all. Don't forget to check my girl Martha out over at The Good Candle. Her spring collection is now available, and I can't recommend her candles enough. They are safe, they are natural, they are soy, they are hand poured, and she is a small woman-owned business owner that we love to support. So anyways, friends, all information will be down in my description box. Thank you guys once again so, so much for watching my long videos. And until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye.